Hello from Slovenia again. First of all, I want to show you the dry painting from my previous split cup rainbow pour because I want to repeat. But I will tell you what I want to do. At first, I did just a straight pour from up high. Probably you will not see this on my video because it's hard. I, I should have uh, my camera on my ceiling or something to, to show you the height. But I pour from kind of 20 inch high probably at first to get this blending effect. And today I want to have this blending kind of effect here and some featherings down there. I don't know if this will work, but you know what I like to say. If you don't try, you don't know. So I have the same. I have to just put my uh, paints a little more to the side because otherwise I will throw them. I have the same canvas that it is um, 12 by 16 deep, deep edged canvas, you see, like my fingers. So I will just put this aside for this part. I will pour my colors into my seven chamber split cup from paintpourstore.com uh, you can use the uh, Fiona 15 discount code for 15% off if you want to buy some and first I poured in Vallejo Magenta uh, the next one was Windsor Newton Cadmium Orange Hue and this is Amsterdam Primary Yellow, Amsterdam Brilliant Green, um, and Cyan Blue by Amsterdam. I will show you the consistency right away. And this is Windsor Blue by Amsterdam. This is the consistency. Leaves a little mound but disappears quite easily. And for the violet I used in my previous pour Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam but today I added a little bit of permanent blue violet in because I want a little darker violet but not as dark as the permanent blue violet is by itself so let's see and I have titanium white that I will have as my flow extender I will just clean this a little bit at least at the beginning. So I just put my canvas on the spinner as centered as I can. So if I spin it out, it is, um, it doesn't fly off. I will just see if I do this, if this will be better. To see me how high I, I pour this so I want blending of my colors here so I will just pour some white here and I will pour from up high and kind of fast 
and I have enough paint if I want to to have a little more or just do it like that so from up high So I obviously, my camera didn't work for this first part, so sorry. So I will just add a little more paint into the, the split cup because I want a little more on some places, so. And because it's a deep, deep etched canvas, I need to cover my sides too nicely. So let's do that. So sorry, I was really trying to catch the the height on camera and then my camera didn't work so sometimes this happen happens okay so I want a little more from up high right there paint a little more to this side and I will play with the skewer a little bit here. Just see all those cells popping through. I will just add a little white here too. I know that I will have too much paint but I just want to keep the, the the pattern that I like, I don't want to lose it, that's why I will. But um, you know if you put your white down first or other uh, base coat, then you get those white lines that I don't necessarily like, you see. Maybe this one will not be so bad when I will tear this out, so. Let's see. I will just put it off my spinner 
for the theoretic part and I don't need a spinner for this part. Okay, so I can bring you a little closer to you. Look, here it is. I really don't like this line, <laughs> but you can have it all. And I didn't do a great job with the feathering here, so it is kind of tricky to connect, but. Uh, there are some really amazing cells and blending, blending of colors. See this white, it's kind of okay here, it gives a little something, but I don't know. I really like this blending here and the cells. And the feathering, it's nice, but I kind of think that I should this is the one that I did after and I think that I didn't, I shouldn't. So maybe I should just <laughs> till the f before I added another portion of paint on it. And try to avoid this for the next time but I will definitely try again because I really love this effect um, you know it's different if you do a straight pour with a split cup from up high because the colors don't mix in the cup just they mix just on canvas and they stay more true or how can I say or just I like it that way. See some creature here. So, so this was it for today. If you have some thoughts how, because sometimes you know when you watch somebody pouring you see things that maybe we don't. So if you saw some things that maybe I can do differently next time, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.